There is one key component to every animation that will be the defining factor between victory and defeat. And believe it or not, it isn't the special effects. It's not the music. It's not even your drawing ability. No, the key to a good animation is the story. No, really, it's all in the story. Don't believe me? Watch just about any anime series and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. 90% of the cartoon is a still picture with a voiceover and an occasional quick jerky move into the next still image. They essentially create well-drawn storyboards and then add sound. And yet, despite their strange lack of movement and the tendency to stop for ridiculously large amounts of time to talk during fight scenes, anime continues to keep people watching. And why? Well, it's simple. It's because they have storylines that keep people captivated. So the question is, how do you create a story that is captivating to your audience? Well, there are four deceptively simple questions that you need to ask yourself before you start animating your cartoon. Now you may be thinking, enough story talk, I know what a story is, let's just get down to business and start animating. But let me warn you, this kind of attitude is quite literally the kiss of death for aspiring animators. I've learned this from personal experience, and I have a giant graveyard of unfinished FLA files to prove it. Not to mention the hundreds of hours that I've wasted with nothing to show for it. The fact is that planning your animation ahead of time will be the easiest part of making your cartoon, and in the end it will be the absolute best time that you will have spent, especially considering the amount of value you get compared to the work you'll put into it. Okay. So now that I've said my piece, here are the four questions you need to ask yourself before you do anything else on your animation. Question number one. What is the goal of your story? What do you want to accomplish with your story? Do you want to make your audience laugh? Maybe you want to scare the crap out of your audience. Or perhaps you're trying to motivate them to take a specific action. Your options are endless, but you need to be really clear on the reason for making your animation before ever putting pencil to paper, or stylus to tablet, or whatever you're using. The point is, knowing the core reason for creating your animation will be the basis of just about every other decision you will make. So it's really important that you know and understand your story's purpose. The second question that you should ask yourself is, who is your story for? It's important to consider who your target audience is. Is your cartoon geared towards practicing lawyers, or are you making it for your high school friends? Is it a happy birthday animation for your mom, or is it a stick animation packed full of blood and carnage to impress your buddies at stickdeath.com? This is crucial because I'm pretty sure your mom won't have a very happy birthday if you send her an animated birthday card that consists mostly of some ninja stick guy kicking the crap out of a million random stick dudes. Another thing that's worth mentioning is that you shouldn't use inside jokes in your cartoon. Unless, of course, the animation is targeted towards your group of friends who will actually understand the inside joke. The third question that you need to ask yourself is, Will anyone who's not my mom like my story? The trick to this question is that you need to be completely honest with yourself. Don't assume that just because an idea pops into your head, it's golden. You should seriously stop and ask yourself, Will my target audience get anything beneficial from this animation? If the answer is no, then you should figure out what you can add or take away from your story to make it worth someone else's time, or maybe just drop the idea altogether. However, if you've given it some serious thought and you feel like your story is adequate, then all you have to do is run your idea past someone else, preferably someone in your target audience, and who isn't your mother and who won't say that they love it just to make you feel good. Then, based on the feedback that you receive, you can adjust anything you need to. Add some good ideas they gave you, or simply continue with the newfound confidence that what you are working on is solid and worthwhile. The final and most important question to ask yourself is, do I actually like and believe in this story? In the past, I've completely disregarded this step. I would come up with an idea which I consider to be brilliant, then excited and full of energy, I would jump right in and start animating the scene that I thought was the coolest. But eventually, after hours, days, or even weeks, I would begin getting bored and start to lose interest, at which time I typically would come up with another brilliant idea and then would completely drop the first animation and run off to work on the next big thing. And so, like a person with a bad case of ADD in a room full of shiny objects, I spent years jumping from one shiny thing to another, but I never actually got anything done. 
This will happen to you too if you don't make sure that you truly enjoy and believe in your story before you start animating.